Yes, YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So if you love reptiles, you know they're exothermic, which means they need to warm up and get their energy from basking in the sun. But how do you do that in a captive situation? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at just that, as well as taking a look at one of these products. And that's all coming up right after this. As well as looking at this product. So with today we're going to talk about how to heat your reptiles enclosure and try and get it as close to their natural surroundings as they would in the wild, hence the sun. So naturally in the wild, reptiles would be susceptible to obviously basking out in the sun. Now the sun does create a lot of different types of light and a lot of that is made up of visual light, but there's also UVB, which a lot of you will probably be aware of, hence having to add them in lots of reptiles enclosures being proven at benefit to reptiles and that doesn't provide any heat as obviously just visible light. Now infrared rays are what creates the heat. Now there's three types of infrared, infrared A, infrared B and infrared C. So naturally in the wild the sun would produce infrareds in three different measures. So infrared A, there'd be 32% of infrared A. Infrared B accounts for 14% and infrared C is the lowest and accounts for 2%. Now the reason I'm going through this is just to highlight some of the more commonly used items that heat reptile enclosures currently. Now I've been using in the past ceramic heaters and this is a secondary heat source. A lot of times they're great because they don't produce any light. Um, they, just they actually just produce infrared C which as you've just seen is the lowest um, percentage in the three infrareds. Now, because this only provides infrared C, it's not so close to what a reptile would experience in the wild. Now, that's not to say if you're using a ceramic heater that you're a bad keeper. Now, this is something I'm only just recently looking into and something I just want to try and make sure that I'm improving on the care of my animals and doing as best I can for them. So today we're pretty much going to talk about the Arcadia Deep Heat Emitter. Now this is a newish product on the market. Now Arcadia are probably more common in UK and Europe. I think they are in America, but maybe so much in Canada and those sort of places. But they are a company that really devotes their time to animal welfare and try to bring out products to improve welfare and raise husbandry standards. So I've always been a fan of Arcadia. All my um, UVs are Arcadia, my heat bulbs are Arcadia, just because they spend a lot of time in research and it's similar to aquarium lights. I know a lot of people think that twin star lights are really expensive or ADA lights are really expensive, especially when they don't have some of the features that other expensive lights do, like app control, but they purely put a lot of their money into research of whether they're beneficial for plants, animals, rather than the gadgets. And I feel like Arcadia are probably a similar company. Now, this is a deep heat projector, and I'm going to be adding this onto Bert's enclosure. He's currently got a ceramic heater on there. Now, again, I just want to combine this with the light we currently have. So he's got a UVB light on there, as well as the Arcadia T5 strip for more visible light. And we've also then got the ceramic heater, which is only providing infrared C. Now, if we get adding this as well, we'd be providing infrared A and infrared B, which, as I mentioned earlier, are the large, larger percentages. Combined with the UVB, there's quite a broad spectrum of light then providing and it's probably a lot more like Bert would experience if he was, was in the wild. So we're going to go ahead and do that now and I'll rejoin you in a sec.
we've got that installed and hopefully that will provide Bert with better um, variation of light spectrum so that'll help him as well as the UVB on there. Now because this is an arboreal um, setup it's unlikely the infrared sea will get in there. In nature infrared sea gets fil filtered out by our atmosphere anyway um, so it's not massively beneficial but if you have animals that like belly heat so anim animals are typically told to be kept with heat mats so maybe leopard geckos, bull pythons which I don't believe that is the best form of light because in nature, light comes from above, so does heat, and I think the animal's natural instinct is to go higher, to get warmer and lower, to get cooler, so I think that's counterproductive or counterintuitive even. So, belly heat, I suppose, is created, you can create infrared sea from this, so when, if you had, say, well, my ball python will be getting one of these as well, I'll probably keep a rock underneath um, the basking area, so when the UVA, sorry, the infrared A and the infrared B is basking, uh, beaming down onto the rock, when the lights go off, the rock will then release the infrared sea in the form of heat and that is all infrared heat is, sort of the ambient temperature or room temperature or sort of light feeling of heat when like a radiator is on I suppose. So these heaters actually penetrate deeper into the animal's skin and muscles and that helps then it be more efficient for them to thermoregulate and to, for them to bask and get their energy as well as it's going to be lower cost on energy and they're roughly around the same price as uh, ceramic heat emitters like this one anyway. But the only difference is, is these only come in 50 watts and 80 watts, but they are meant to outcompete a 100 watt ceramic heater. So I definitely recommend giving them a go. As always, I'll leave a link down in the description if you are interested in these. So why is it so important that we provide in these sort of heaters and including infrared A and infrared B? Now this does help massively help reptiles with, digest with their digestion. It helps heal any wounds, if they've got any sickness, it can help and aid in that. As well as obviously reproducing as close as you can to what they experience in the wild, which if you follow the channel for a, a while, you'll know exactly that's what we're trying to recreate here. And not only do they have a benefit for your animals, they also have a benefit for you. Like I mentioned, they are probably more efficient in terms of power than their equivalent or ceramic heaters. Um, they also heat up a lot quicker, hence making them more efficient. They're better for your animal by recreating the sun as close as you possibly can, especially combined with a UVB system as well. These are classed as tungsten filament lamps, but they do actually produce a small like ember type glow but it's not enough to keep your animal up in the night and it's barely, it's barely visible unless you actually look up at it. But they're roughly around the same price and I definitely recommend if it's benefits for your animal and they're around the same cost, give it a go for yourself and I'd love to hear what you think. But I just want to give you a couple of quick changes we're going to be making around some of the enclosures and some of the stuff we'll be looking at this year. I'm really keen on trying to expose some of the things that benefit our animals and sharing those with you because I know a lot of you care for your animals and want to give them the best care possible. And that's something we're going to be looking at this year as well. There's a few different things. You've already seen that I'm upgrading a lot of my lighting systems. I had in the Arcadia um, Jungle Dawns on, which we've got one for Castro to add as well. And we'll be looking at lots of different types of lighting, heating, and just your equipment to make your animals lives healthier and better. We still got a lot of setups to be made so if you're new to this channel we do a lot of aquascaping and bioactive setups and we've got a few lined up, well I'll say a few, quite a lot to get done so those are all coming up and now is probably a perfect time to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. As always, I really appreciate you going to check out my store with my merch. I've got the John's Rainforest Room t-shirt today. They are available on the site. I'll leave a link down in the description as well as plenty of other reptile and fish keeping gift ideas or something for yourself. As always, I really appreciate any of the money you put into this channel because it goes straight back on the animal's care and trying um, for new equipment to make these videos even better. But for those who've been following the channel a while, you'll probably notice a few differences in the room. We've got some new lighting, which you can probably tell, and that has been put back in by you guys supporting this channel looking at my merch, watching, liking, commenting. So I really, really appreciate it. And I honestly put everything back into making this a better experience for you, the animals, and me. Now I definitely recommend you going out and checking out our cages deep heat emitters. I'll leave a link down in the description if that's something you're interested in. If you do use the link that I provide, it will have a small commission for me, which again, I'll put back straight into this channel to make it a better experience all around. But, that's enough of me for today. A massive thanks for checking out today's video and I'll see you in the next one.